reporting all morning, the captain of the JetBlue Flight 191 could face criminal charges as soon as today. He had to be restrained after he stormed through the cabin screaming about threats linked to Iran and Afghanistan. The co-pilot made an emergency landing in Amarillo, Texas. National correspondent Lee Cowan is in Las Vegas where Flight 191 was originally scheduled to land. Lee, good morning. Morning, Erica. Yeah, that pilot remains uh, under medical evaluation this morning, and those passengers are just counting their blessings after having to tackle the man who is supposed to be flying their flight. The incident began mid flight. Clayton Osmond's co pilot, noticing abnormal behavior and physical duress, suggested somehow that Osmond exit the cockpit. At the same time, he arranged for another JetBlue pilot flying as a passenger. To enter the cockpit while Osman was outside. Osman, a 49 year old Georgian, a JetBlue pilot with 12 years captain's experience, returned to find the door to the cockpit intentionally locked. And that's when his behavior escalated. He's banging on the door, yelling at the first officer. I, I think his name was Steve. You know, bring the throttle to idle, bring it to idle, bring it to idle. We're going down, we're all going to die. Pray to Jesus. Open this goddamn door. Flight attendants and passengers worked together to subdue Osman and assure passengers seated further back in the plane that it was not being hijacked. So the stewardesses uh, got a hold of him, but then he got close to the door, the outside door. So then I said, I can't let this guy open the door up here. An emergency landing was made in Amarillo, Texas, where Osman was finally taken into custody. Although the pilot called it a medical incident, the luggage was screened for explosives, and government databases determined that Osman has no known association with any terrorist groups. If the pilot uh, is charged, it would be the first time that a pilot has ever been charged with interfering with his own flight. Back to you guys.